No, look, uh, uh, you, you seem constantly to forget that we, that these propositions, which are being inferred from each other, uh, also have their connections with the world, and I've got to be able to make those out also. And uh, I make those out by seeing how people act in the world. Uh, uh, and if that doesn't fit, I haven't got any clue to the contents of the things which are being connected by the logical connectives. So these things have got to go together. And if I can't make any sense of how they go together, uh, then so far I haven't been able to see them as propositions that they're dealing with. Uh, if I say this, this sentence has such and such a content, uh, then I want to see, well, is it for this person uh, related in certain ways to other propositions? Now, if they're not, then I'm not going to say they just reason differently than I do. I say those aren't the propositions I thought they were. So we can't just ignore the contents of the propositions and look at the patterns of, of inference uh, because we don't even see it as inference. We just see it as a, a, a formal system. Oh, look, people have argued, I, I mean, this brings us back to mathematics again, I suppose, but people have argued about the validity of certain forms of, I mean, sophisticated, uh, forms of inference, action of choice, is essentially, it's a rule of inference. People argue quite bitterly, is that uh, valid or is it not valid? Now, there was no real question about whether they understood, or if there was a question, it was, again, a very highly sophisticated question about whether they understood the, 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 the rest of the language. All right. right. It was a matter of arguing about what the quantifiers really mean, and then they had to appeal to ideas they had about what quantifiers ought to, to mean, and, and so on. So it's perfectly possible for people to disagree about, even to be shown that they ought to accept a certain rule as valid, which they hadn't previously thought of. Uh, as valid in accordance with the meanings they already attached it, 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 to, to, to the right. words. Uh, it isn't that one can say, well, I give these people up, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. uh, sure. Well, the, the trouble is that we've gone from this extremely primitive situation where we're trying to uh, work out uh, what people mean by what they're saying and, and uh, how to translate uh, not and and uh, to uh, looking at the far reaches of set theory uh, uh, where uh, uh, I mean we have to decide what logical concepts we're talking about for, for one thing and now we've suddenly got all the set theory uh, uh, well, I only gave that as an example. No, no, the, the, but, well, but my point is, of course we can argue about something like that when we have got a whole lot going. I mean, where we understand each other very well uh, over a very large extent. Uh, and so, so it's not as though everything is still up, in the, up for grabs. Uh, uh, we, we just argue about this one... Uh, uh, thing in the far reaches of set theory. Uh, and and of, of course we can do that. that. Those are the circumstances under which we already understand each other pretty well. Uh, uh, and so our disagreements have a grip. Uh, but when we're talking about people where, where we can't really uh, understand some of their connectives, uh, uh, it seems to me th th there we're still in the situation where we're trying to get the hang of their language at all uh, because uh, if we really can't gra grasp their connectives uh, then it seems to me uh, we're not sure that we've got the propositional contents of their simplest sentences right. Well, I was talking about, about a case an imaginary case, which I haven't even described, but I have in mind a particular case, 
involving a word that behaves much like our word or, and let's suppose we understand the rest of the language perfectly well, a sentence without that word in it seem perfectly okay. And what's more, sentences with that word in it work very like, or usually work, very often work, like the result of translating that connective as all. But we just find they won't, they give at certain forms of inference which we should accept uh, which uh, involve it. Well, look, we all uh, have our own store of concepts and no two peoples probably are exactly the same and uh, I unfortunately know quite a lot of people who have a whole bunch of concepts that I don't have at all and I don't just mean people who know quantum mechanics, that <laughs> psychoanalysts, yes. and astronomers, and cosmologists, and, uh, yeah, so. uh, and, and uh, the, the uh, economists. <laughs> yeah, I'm afraid the list is very long. <laughs> right. Uh, uh, now I think uh, uh, that doesn't raise any conceptual problem for me. I don't think that introducing those uh, concepts uh, into my language is going to force me to, or force anybody else to understand the rest of what I say mm. in a mm. different way. Mm. I mean, it could happen. Not, not every addition to our set of concepts, whether it's just uh, a, a new suburb, so to speak, mm. of the old language where it really doesn't affect the old one but just is added on, uh, or those rare cases where adding something on really does make a certain amount of change in, in the rest. Uh, th these are, are perfectly intelligible uh, cases, e even when I don't understand them. I mean, I understand that it's right. possible for these sure. things to happen. And I can certainly imagine somebody uh, who, who has got a sufficient <laughs> uh, a store of logical constants that I can pretty much Mm. accommodate uh, might have uh, something new that I haven't got uh, in which case I, I, I think I probably could master it uh, and it might be that I couldn't define it in terms of what I've already got mm. so mm. I mastered only just by seeing how it works and uh, uh, whatever explanatory material you're willing to offer me mm. uh, I'll, I'll make use of so th that um, I mean Holism doesn't have to interfere, I yeah. think, with this. Uh, the, where the holism was coming in was uh, the inferences I do understand. Uh, and there, I don't see any way to separate uh, the issue of, of uh, understanding the sentences uh, among which the inferences pass uh, 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 and understanding the constants themselves. These seem to me to interact in pretty obvious ways. I would imagine you agree. 